I've been very much on the cautiously optimistic type of train, but you guys all know me. I am staying in a positive frame of mind. And honestly, I feel like a lot calmer this time because I just feel like it's gonna be whatever it's gonna be. What's up tribe and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again. If you're new here, my name is Mariah and my husband and I on, are on a journey to conceive rainbow baby number two, which from the looks of these tests, we indeed probably have. I am on my way right now to um, get my betas done. I need to actually go ahead and put this in my GPS and get going because I'm doing this at nap time. So the lab isn't that far away from me. It's like 12 minutes from me, but I'm about to run in a uh, do that real quick and then I'll give you guys another update once I get those first set of betas back. So I'm going to go today and then I'm going to also call my doctor and see what they want me to do and then I'm going to go for a second set and another I believe it's like two days so I'll get another set done in basically 48 hours but I'm not getting them done under the care of the fertility clinic because that would involve a longer drive. I still had some orders in for HCG quants through the civilian provider. So I'm going to go to the lab and use those to get that done right now. It just so happens that I have two available. So that'll at least get me started as far as getting the information of what my levels are looking like. And then I'll touch base with the RE to see about what time frame they want me to come in. I'm thinking like either a week to a week and a half from now probably, or if not like two weeks, but we will see. Okay guys, so I just got my blood work done. As you can see, Um, I the good thing about it is that it'll come pretty much once it's back, which will probably take at least 24 hours it'll come back right to the app in my phone. So I'll be able to see it immediately. I'm about to just go ahead and call um, the RE clinic so that I can basically figure out when I'm gonna be coming in. Good afternoon, reproductive health. I'm calling to basically see uh, when the OB wants me to, well, to come in for an OB scan um, and to find out when the clinic wants me to come in. I've been doing unmedicated um, or unmonitored cycles of Clomid. So I'm just trying to see when exactly timing wise I should be coming in. Okay, so you just got the positive? Yes. Was it a spontaneous? Pregnancy? Did IUI? No, just uh, Clomid, so just medication. Okay, you did Clomid, okay, and then timed in a course. Yes. All right, so I'm going to put this into the nurse. She has up to 72 hours, but she's pretty quick. If she doesn't get to you this afternoon, more than likely it'll be tomorrow. Okay, okay. no problem. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, bye. Okay, so it seems like I'm going to get a call back from the nurse. I don't know if I remember doing it this way last time, but I'm going to get a call back from the nurse today or between today and three days from now. Um, of course, she just told me that they'll be ordering blood work for 48 hours apart. I'm just going to go ahead and do the blood work here. I've already I've already done it, so I'm just going to do it again, not tomorrow, but the following day. And by that time, I should know from them when they want me to come in and even possibly have some lab results for them. And I'll probably discuss with the nurse just basically if I could facts over my labs to her since the quant has already been done and they can pretty much go from there instead of me coming in or going somewhere else because I could go to the Air Force Base but the Air Force Base is farther away it's about 40 minutes just so that it'll be in the military system when I could just as easily like send them over documents with the proof of uh what the betas are so we'll see how this all shakes out but so far it's looking pretty good if i do wind up having to go back down though it won't be that big of a deal because i have to go down for my progesterone suppositories anyway i have to go down so i can pick up that prescription i will probably have them um go ahead and write me a new one for a larger amount i think they can do up to like 90 days worth so i'm gonna see if i can get them to write me a 90 day script so i don't have to keep running up to the pharmacy to get it but i will let you guys know what the outcome of all of that is once the nurse gets back to me okay guys i know it's super late but i am back with the update i initially was like oh well let me update them once i get both sets of results back and they were a little bit delayed in um coming back to my phone because it was done partially like over the weekend too and then as soon as i got them all back it i like immediately started feeling like sick once i did the second 
one so i've been pretty much under the nausea cloud for <laughs> the past week or so but i have three sets to share with you guys so the first two were done two days apart so I got them done one day, skipped day, got them done the following day. And then the third one, I think I had like, we're done like 72 hours apart from the second one. So the first one I got was 133. The second one I got was 3.99. And then the third one I got was 2383 so 2383 so everything is going great guys everything has been going smooth thus far um i haven't had any spotting bleeding anything like that um i really haven't even had any like cramping i've gotten some abdominal cramps but not any um lower abdominal cramps or any pelvic pain or anything like that but yeah outside of feeling super sick all day every day everything has been going great so i'm sorry it took so long for the updates um updates are going to be rolling in a lot more consistently and a lot sooner i just really had to get it together just from the standpoint of managing my toddler and trying to take care of myself trying to get rest and still trying to get everything done around the house that we need to do but i just want to say thank you guys for sending all the well wishes and all of the prayers and all of the congratulatory messages i really really appreciate it i appreciate all the love and all the support and yeah i'm really excited for you all to be on this journey with us once again also another thing i did get in touch uh, with the nurse so they did go ahead and schedule my ultrasound and everything like that so that video will probably be coming out towards the end of the week ish I've been very much on the cautiously optimistic type of train but you guys all know me I am staying in a positive frame of mind and honestly I feel like a lot calmer this time because I just feel like it's gonna be whatever it's gonna be so that's all for this update guys I'm sending you all tons of baby dust and lots and lots of love congrats once again to all of you I'm still getting back to a lot of you in the comments but a lot of you are telling me that you're like recently finding out that you are pregnant some of you are like six weeks eight weeks and some of you literally like just found out to where I think now you'll probably be about be anywhere between seven to nine weeks. So like we're all kind of in the same space in that first trimester. But yeah, guys, I hope you all are having a wonderful and amazing week and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.